we finally hit 50 subscribers. Thank you, God. I've been trying. All right, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about the boy. See, my name is Jesse Fairley. I was raised in Gulfport, Mississippi. I live in Biloxi now because I had to move and shit. Well, I lived my granny majority of my life because my mom died at a young age, and I never knew my dad. And... I'm a U.S. Army soldier. I work part-time jobs. I'm trying to be a WWE wrestler in the future. And there's a reason I'm called the ultimate soldier. It's because, like, when I was in the Army, nobody believed that I was going to get out of there because, I, because, like, majority of my life, I wasn't allowed to do shit, so I really didn't know anything because I had an overprotective granny. But I swear to God, the face on the day that I graduated and became a soldier, they was about to cry. Not because I made it, but because I was the future of this goddamn country. They were like, oh, shit, we're about to die. Your ass done made it. I'm like, <laughs> it was. And then after that, ultimate soldier hit. I made everybody put that one up for no fucking reason. Why? Because I felt like it. I was really an asshole, and I I was like one of the weakest links, but I swear to God, I impressed everybody by not failing. And then AIT came around after basic training. You already know your boy became him. There was nothing they could do to me. So right now I'm living in this apartment and I go to drill every now and then. And that's about it right now well i got a girl but she lives in gulfport i see her every now and then oh yeah pray for her her mom just died so we wishing her the best like i go see her and check on her every now and then but like it's nothing more i can do i always try to comfort her in the best ways i can as a man like i get it i when my mom died i was crying for like a whole fucking week when my granny died, ooh, shit, that was the worst because I was like, I was at um, basic training and then I just heard, hey, we'll probably fairly come down. And then I was so excited because I thought it was like some money or something because usually I don't get gifts. So I was like, oh, free phone call or some shit. Nope, nope. They just alerted that my granny died. Oh, I was crying the whole day. Like, it was picture day too, like you know when the company take a picture, like nigga, I was, I was sad as hell. But shit, that's the story of me in a nutshell. I really don't know much about anything. I am a really good WWE fan, so I know much about that. So that's what I want to be in the future. I'm on a six year contract with the army, so after that. WWE, here I come. Hopefully, I can blow up on YouTube or some shit. Like, I'll still train here and train up places. I'll send video packages, try to, you know, get into WWE. But if I can't, I'll get in something until I do, all right? Shit, AJ Styles had to go to Impact before he went to WWE. So, I'll see all y'all later. Yeah.